vaccine have already been distributed, some half a million administered at this point. And hundreds of people in Augusta already receiving the vaccine. The VA hospital has set up a clinic specifically for vaccinations. News Channel 6's Chloe Salsameda got a look inside. Less than a week ago, the first shipment of the COVID-19 vaccine arrived right here at the Charlie Norwood VA Medical Center. Now dozens of people are being vaccinated each day, and the hospital has no plans of slowing down anytime soon. Inside the doors of the Charlie Norwood VA Medical Center, nurses busy giving out potentially life-saving doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. No pain at all. The hospital wasted no time opening its vaccination clinic. The first shots given out just hours after the doses arrived. Hundreds of veterans and hospital employees vaccinated in less than a week. It's giving healthcare workers like Rachel Pierce the tools to continue fighting on the front lines. So a lot of our patients are an at-risk population, so it's nice to have the opportunity to get this vaccine so we can help keep our patients safe. The 10-room clinic was just an idea months ago. It came together last week at a moment's notice. When we found out we are getting the vaccine, we had no shortage of staff volunteering to take over the clinic. The staff moving quickly to vaccinate as many people as possible. Once the vaccine is taken out of the ultra-cold freezer, the clock starts ticking. So it does have to be administered um, within six hours. That's not the only clock the medical center is working against. The VA's COVID hospitalization rates are rising. As we have seen our um, inpatient COVID numbers rise, and we've seen the number of outpatient cases rise in the community. The Augusta community isn't the only group the VA is concerned about. Many veterans are not able to travel to the medical center to get their shots. So the hospital hopes to bring the vaccine to them. So we've got plans prepared to mobilize. The VA has clinics in Aiken, Athens, and Statesboro. It won't be easy to transport doses there, but the Moderna vaccine is offering some hope. It doesn't need to be stored at extremely cold temperatures. We're still not in the clear yet, but this is one step closer. Many people are eager to get vaccinated, but the hospital is asking you to be patient. They say they will call you to schedule an appointment. At the Charlie Norwood VA Medical Center, Chloe Salsameda, WJBF, News Channel 6. Congress is meeting right now. David Perdue is there for his donors, but not for us. Well, this morning started out with a whole lot of fun for some kids in Columbia County. The Sheriff's Office invited four dozen children for a day with a deputy. They met at the Bobby Jones Walmart, and each kid got to spend $250 on holiday toys. The Sheriff's Office says it's a way to put a smile on a child's face and help build trust in the community. We want the kids and the families to see a different side of law enforcement because we know a lot of times when you think of law enforcement, you think of somebody who's going to jail or something like that. So we just love to be able to put smiles on their faces and help them out. This is the 18th year of the Day with a Deputy event. The Army Corps of Engineers wants your Christmas tree. Today through January 17th, they're ready to recycle it. They're going to turn them into fish habitats in the lake. Be sure to take off all the lights and ornaments or they won't take it. You can drop your tree off at the Amity Day Use Area and the Keg Creek Boat Ramp. Now remember, Riverside Middle School is not going to be a drop-off location this year. Two local organizations are teaming up to make a difference in the community. News Channel 6's Mary Calkins shows us. Golden Harvest has been serving the community for 38 years, but this year looks a little bit different. They've seen an increased need in food assistance in light of the pandemic. In fact, in the CSRA, food insecurity has increased by 22 percent. We've been working really hard to try and meet all those needs, but it's not possible for us to do that without the generosity of our community. Homestead Hospice is one of those generous community partners lending a hand. So to sum it up, it's basically we are your doctor's office, your emergency room. We can even be your church if you need us to. So we just like to provide as much support in the home because obviously at that stage of life, the patient and family will need that support. Homestead Hospice collected donations from local businesses, and Monday they donated those items to Golden Harvest. When Homestead Hospice wanted to do uh, this generous food drive, they reached out to us, and we were more than you know excited and happy to accept this, especially during this uh, holiday season when the need for food is really a lot higher than, than usual. Because of the pandemic, both Golden Harvest and Homestead Hospice have noticed an increased need from those they serve. I think there's always a need, but because of our seniors and what they're going through because of the pandemic, they're very, very isolated.
graduated, so that's what Homestead, we try to give back every year, but especially this year. The two organizations felt they'd make the perfect team. And we're fortunate enough that when people think about hunger relief in the CSRA, I think many people do think about Golden Harvest Food Bank. For more on the story, head over to my article on WJBF.com. In Augusta, I'm Mary Calkins, WJBF News Channel 6. As the COVID-19 vaccine has been rolling out across the country, some crooks are looking to cash in. Sure are. What you need to know about counterfeit vaccines when coverage you can count on continues.